Here's how to install a screen door conversion kit. First, you'll see the parts are two screen magnets, two frame magnets, along with one roll of protective tape. The tools that are required include a tape measure, scissors, painter's tape, a pencil, and a screwdriver. Before you begin, you will need to prep your door by removing the screen door from its hinges or track and place it on a flat, clean spot. If your screen door is torn in any place, you must replace it before installing your pet flap. Next, you will need to measure your pet. Measure your pet's height from the floor to the tallest portion of their shoulders or their haunches. Make note of the height. Then you're going to apply painter's tape to the outside face of your screen door's frame so that you have an easy surface to write on. Then make a mark on the taped part of your frame based on your pet's height. The mark should be about five inches above your pet's height. After you have your mark, we're going to attach the screen magnets. Turn the screen so that the outside face is up. Remove the double-sided tape liner on the screen magnets. Attach the screen magnets, one for each of the two bottom corners of the screen. Leave a little room between the magnets and the screen door frame so that the magnets do not hit the frame when your pet uses the door. Make sure the magnets are facing up to you. Then we're going to apply the bottom layer of tape. Measure out a piece of the protective tape to fit on the bottom edge of the screen, overlapping the lips of the screen magnets. Cut it with sharp scissors and remove the liner. Carefully apply with only light pressure until you're confident of its placement. The tape should be on the screen mesh only. Do not cover the magnet faces. Then we're going to apply tape to the sides of the screen. Apply another strip of protective tape along the side of the door, starting on the upper lip of the screen magnet to your mark. Use the same application technique here that you use on the bottom of the door. Make sure the tape does not touch the screen door frame. Repeat on the other side. Next, we're going to apply tape on the opposite side of the screen. So flip your screen door over so that you are looking at the underside of the tape. Apply the protective tape over the back side of the bottom edge and sides, being careful not to overlap or touch the frame. Make sure that this layer is aligned as close as possible to the first layer. Now we're going to reinforce the screen flap. Apply a patch of tape horizontally over the top split of the screen, connecting the tape to the screen frame. The patch should overlap the side tape and extend halfway onto your frame. Do this for both sides of the screen. Flip the door over and repeat. Now we're going to remove the screen spline. To create the pet door opening, you will need to remove the screen spline below the patches of tape on each side of the screen. Locate the end of the spline, usually in one of the lower corners of the screen frame. Use a screwdriver or other pointy tool to pry the end of the spline out of the screen frame. Pull out the rest of the spline below the patches by hand, down one side, across the bottom, and up the other side. Use scissors to cut the spline directly beneath the patches on each side of the screen. Press any spline that is left back into the groove of the frame. Pull the screen material out where you remove the spline, allowing it to swing freely. There will be extra screen material that will be trimmed in a later step. Now we're going to reinstall the screen door, or you could just do this step with the door standing upright. Finally, we're going to attach the frame magnets. Remove the liner on the tape for the frame magnets. Allow the frame magnets to attach to the screen magnets face to face. With the flap hanging, apply a small amount of tension and attach the sticky side of the frame magnets there so that the two magnet faces connect when the flap closes. Then we're going to trim the excess screen material. You will trim the excess screen along the edges as needed. And that's it. Your screen door is now a pet door.